Fire in the hole, let's cook some chicken. You're gonna love this one, Sandra. Stay tuned. So like any good recipe, this one starts out with my cast iron skillet on the fire. And of course, some Sang stir fry oil. What else? I mean, I'm so predictable. I mean, if you, <laughs> you think you're gonna come here and not see me use any Sang stir fry oil, you're crazy. I use it for everything. There we go, with some Sang stir fry oil. And then we got a, a diced onion and about six cloves of garlic diced up that we're gonna throw in there. Get them in there. Get them happy in that pan. And I've also got a, a red and a yellow diced bell pepper that we're gonna throw in there. Now we're gonna cook that up. Don't that purdy? Don't oh, that pretty, that looks good, doesn't it? Looks good enough to eat. Beautiful colors in that pan. We're gonna cook them down, and then we're gonna get them in a bowl, and I'll show you what we're gonna do, so stay tuned. All right, our veggies are cooked down. <clears throat> I apologize for my voice, I'm getting over a cold. And they're in the bowl, they're still hot. We're gonna put some uh, cream cheese on there. This is whipped cream cheese, nice and soft. And that's gonna, we're gonna put that whole eight ounce thing of cream cheese in there and mix that up in there. Don't that look good already? And then we got some uh, pepper jack cheese and some cheddar cheese. And we're also gonna put some uh, Tango Joe's Southwest Sunset. A little bit of that in there. That's a good Southwest type of spice. That's gonna be perfect for our stuffing for our chicken, which is what we're gonna do with this. When we get it all mixed up, that's what it's gonna look like, you see there? Hope that looks good already. Okay, let me get that mixed up. That's our stuffing. Our chicken stuffing for our stuffed chicken fajita chicken. That's our fajita stuffing. But the Southwest Sunset is amazing. One of my favorite Tango Joe spices, Southwest Sunset. Okay, we're gonna just gonna uh, set this aside and go get my chicken and we'll get them uh, stuffed up and get them on the grill, so stay tuned. So I got a chicken breast right here, and I've got some bacon laid out. I'm gonna slice into that chicken breast to make it kind of a, I'm not gonna butterfly it all the way, I just wanna make it kind of a pocket in that chicken breast like that. I'm gonna take some of that filling and uh, fill that chicken breast up with it as much as we can. Get in there like that. And then we got our bacon standing by right here. We need to cut that piece of fat off of there. That ain't doing anybody any good, right? Okay. So we got our bacon, we got our chicken stuffed up. Got some bacon. I'm gonna slide it down on that bacon a little bit. I'm gonna wrap the bacon around him. All on the outside of him. I'm gonna come back the other way with the bacon. And I'm gonna uh, stick a Q-tip, a <laughs> Q-tip, a toothpick in there to secure that bacon. Probably three three toothpicks. One, two, three. Just like that. Hope you can see that okay. You see what I'm doing there? I've stuffed the chicken with that fajita stuffing and wrapped it in bacon. And I got some more to do. We're gonna get them on the grill and we're gonna uh, cook them up. And I'm going to brush them with some uh, you know you wanted barbecue sauce and I'm going to give you a chance to win some sauce and a, and a brush like mine. So stay tuned. Alright, I got my bacon wrapped stuffed chicken breast on the grill on indirect heat. I'm going to cook them until we get an internal temperature of 160, 165 thereabouts. And we're going to glaze them with some you know you wanted sauce. So stay tuned. All right, my chickens are cooking on the grill, and what I want to do now is glaze them with some, uh, you know you want a barbecue sauce. Don't that look good? And this is uh, the Manuel Rios, you know you want a barbecue sauce. And you see this brush I'm using? Manuel is selling these brushes now. And uh, I'm going to give one away to somebody who leaves a comment on this video. Leave a nice comment, don't leave a mean comment. And just say something like, you know, uh, yeah, you're a good cook, Ruth Boya. Go for it. So, or something like that. Yeah, we're gonna glaze that up. Don't that look hearty? 
Look at that. That's that you know you want it sauce right there. That's good stuff, baby. Get that glazed up on there. Whoa. Now you're talking. Now you're looking like something. Now our chicken breast. Yeah, this, this brush is really cool. You can uh, take this part of it off and put it in the dishwasher. And it's got a wooden handle, and it's just the best. And I'm gonna give one away to one of you lucky people. And I'm gonna uh, give you a bottle of Manuel Rio sauce. Just all you gotta do is like and comment my video and uh, subscribe, and I'll get you some sauce and a, and a brush to one lucky person. And I'll put a link in the description so you can go buy a brush if you want one. And you can buy some of that sauce if you want some. And uh, wait till the end of the video, and we'll talk about Manuel a little bit more. And uh, meanwhile, you know, while that's cooking, I'm getting dry, so let's drink a beer. There's the Frosty Root Boy mug, and not a minute too soon. And this is today's amazing beer. This is Bell's Amber Ale. And I could get Bell's Amber Ale all day. It's, uh, uh, you're not gonna tell me, are you? Maybe they will on the back. Okay, 5.8% alcohol by volume. I, like I said, I can get this all day. I can get two hard ale all day, but the one I can't get is Bell Pop Slam. That's the one I want the most. Anyway, let's pour this out. Amber Ale, 5.8 ABV, and it is definitely amber. And it's definitely a beautiful, look at the frost on that mug. A beautiful beer. Look at that. Don't that pretty. My magnet, stick it up there. Don't that some pretty beer right there. Bell Amber Ale. Can you see that? Bell's Amber Ale. It's a pretty picture on there. Bottled in McCormick, Michigan. I think, am I? That's Michigan, right? Okay. First brewed in 85, Bell's Amber Ale embodies the heritage of our brewery and celebrates the nature of the Great Lakes region. So it must be Michigan, must be the Great Lakes. Anyway, I'm way past having a sip of this, so let's take a sniff of that. Oh man, that smells very good. Caramel and malt, you can really smell it in there. Look at the beautiful color of that. Can you see that? Let's take a, let's quaff the froth, roll. What do you think? I'm at the stage of my cold where my ear is popping, popping in and out, and I keep sniffing it. It's disgusting, a disgusting sound. So there it is, Bell's Amber Ale. Good beer, good beer, babies. Okay, let's check in our chicken, get some plated up to take a taste, and that'll be the end of the video. So please, stay tuned. That's my chicken, it's done. We're gonna cut off a little bit of it, take a taste. I got some salsa and guac and sour cream, and I can tell you that I will not be touching the guac. Let's cut into it. I'm gonna cut into it where you can see what's in it. There you go. There you go. There's some of that stuff that's in there. You see that? I uh, uh, still haven't hit it. Let me try the other end. It's gotta be there someplace. Oh boy. I guess I gotta cut right into the middle of it. Oh yeah, there you go. There's that uh, cheese filling. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm just gonna take a taste of this right here. I ain't got time for that cheese filling and stuff. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna eat that. Don't that look good? Yes, sir, I'll take a taste. Oh yeah, melt in your mouth goodness, boy. I'll tell you what. That's a killer recipe right there. <laughs> I want you to know, I'm sorry about all that sniffling I'm doing. Let me back out of that a little bit. That's a winner right there. Uh, you know, I got that from that Facebook crap, that tasty. Excuse me. Anyway, that's my video, babies. And uh, if you want to win a brush and some sauce, go over to uh, L Rabbit's Barbecue. I'll put a link to I'll put a link in the description where you can buy the brush and the sauce. And if you leave a comment, I'll give somebody a br some brush, some sauce and a brush. What an idiot! And uh, yeah, okay. So uh, like I always say, if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, 
Go over and see El Rabbit. Texas barbecue at its finest. The man, the myth, the legend, Mr. El Rabbit. I call him Bam, B-A-M, the badass Mexican. That's his name. Anyway, he's selling those brushes and he's selling that sauce. So if you want to buy some of that sauce for yourself, you can go in the link in the, in the bucket to his Facebook page and get some of that sauce. And I'll give away some sauce and a brush to one lucky commenter on this video, a subscriber who gives me a thumbs up and a comment, and I'll pick one and give you some sauce and a brush. So anyway, like I always say, if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go over and see El Rabbit's Barbecue. Come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but I'll bet you we drink a beer. You know I'm gonna drink the rest of this one right now. Bye.